Nah, you don't wear lashes? Bitch, you really need them. Because, like, you looking crusty as shit. Like, pfft. I'm sorry, but, like, you looking ugly. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. This is a form of cultural appropriation. No. No. Paying little respect to someone else's culture. No. 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 And using it however you please. Hell no. 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 I refuse. No. Digital blackface does not have the same definition as the theatrical blackface, which died down in the 50s and 60s. Digital blackface is when someone who is not African American pretends to be in order to participate in an online trend or gain traction on social media. This generation has a massive ability to communicate with each other and to also communicate their ideas online. And there are many in this generation that are using this ability to perpetuate systemic racism by portraying African American stereotypes negatively. Jim Crow came from the tradition of folk tales brought over from West Africa. In these tales, trickster animals, typically crows or buzzards, who seemed foolish, always managed to get what they wanted through luck and cleverness. Adopted in the human form, slaves would use Jim Crow as a way to avoid certain work by pretending to be dumb. They wouldn't use Jim Crow, they'd like enact it. That's a better way to put that, I guess. Enact that stereotype. So, Jim Crow is a dumb, dumb black guy. Non-black youths try to imitate black culture because they think it is cool and because they want to fit in with black people. On the other side of the coin, black culture and black people are stigmatized as lazy, dumb, violent, criminals, welfare queens, and hypersexualized beings. It's a serious question because I don't know if I'm the only girl that's ever done that and I, I pull it out and I'm just like, ooh, ooh. Anyways, you look really familiar. What's your name? Digital blackface has become a trending topic on social media apps such as TikTok, Snapchat, Instagram, and Facebook. I am 6,935 days old. I am 19. The Black Youth Project is really cool because it's a space where people from various communities can come together and get information. Finally, there's a place on the web where young black people can speak for themselves. My words now is the bridging of the gap between the academic tools and so youth can learn about the data sets that are out there about us. You can get information from the Rap Lyrics database. You can find a whole number of videos as well as articles and blogs that talk about hip-hop in a way that respects young black people. It is a place where the perspectives of young black people will be heard loud and clear. Too often we hear of the extremes, either those that have made it or really the millions of young people who are incarcerated who find themselves in failing schools. I'm sorry to say, your best friend is gone, is gone. Now you know why, I don't pick up the phone. And we can actually talk about things that matter to us. A lot of youth have something to say now. We understand now and we want our voices heard now. And at the forefront of every civil rights movement, Every war, every story that your grandmother spoke words and told. There was a remnant of educated young black activists screaming to ears that have yet to be listened. The Black Youth Project is the best example of a media organization that takes a stand on modern day issues that can easily go over the heads of certain people who do not understand the gravity of the internet and social media. The Black Youth Project works specifically to empower Generation Z and Millennials, teaching us how to speak our minds using the tools we are given. And they are creating a conversation around digital blackface so it can come to a permanent end on the internet. Just to be brutally honest, um, white people have got to have difficult conversations. Right now, when we hear the term white privilege, we all react negatively. Uh, we're not used to talking about race, but you know, we don't really understand. We get very defensive when people use the term white privilege, but we have to start to recognize that racism, you know, comes from us and that, you know, 
dealing with it means that you and I and anybody who looks like us, has, when we see racism, when we see people acting inappropriately, when we see businesses doing things the wrong way and not treating um, minorities as they should be treated, then we need to say something. We need to speak up. You know, While there are some influential white figures who choose to speak out on issues of race, the only way this battle can be won is if more and more groups like the Black Youth Project use the internet to educate and inspire the younger generation of African Americans to work together and resist racism online.